New at 10 o'clock, it is a website tied to underage prostitution here in Colorado, and now there is a grassroots effort to shut down parts of that site. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart joining us live tonight. And Mark, this is very similar to Craigslist. Indeed, Mike. It's called Backpage.com. On it, you can buy automobiles, appliances. There's also an adult section, and that's where prosecutors from across the country say many pimps sell the services of underage girls. I thought he was my boyfriend. I thought he loved me for real. You will soon see this young actress online and on cable. He raped me a bunch of times. A public service announcement from the nonprofit group Fair Girls. It's part of an effort to convince Backpage.com to remove its adult section. My pimp advertised me online at Backpage.com. But we also are seeing our office filling up with girls who are being exploited and that that's really what's behind it for us and it's happened here in colorado these four men were arrested after a human trafficking ring was busted in january they were making these arrangements over this website uh, delivering the girls to these locations. The website is owned by Village Voice Media, parent company of Denver's Westward. A spokesperson tells Seven News, while the aim of fair girls to rescue victims and stop the sex trafficking of young women is laudable, the devotion of significant resources to an ad campaign dedicated to a non-solution is unfortunate. The website already asks for credit card numbers and has cooperated with police in the past. While they say they're making efforts by screening ads, and we respect that. It's clearly not working. Organizers admit this will not stop human trafficking altogether, but they say it's a logical next step that can have an immediate impact. Live in Denver tonight, Mark Stewart, 7 News.